Welcome to Hiberna Hens. I get a lot of questions about incubation, my type of incubator, what I do, how I do it. I want to talk about eggs first though because that's the most important thing. When you get your shipped eggs from your box, you want to take them out, unwrap them, put them in your egg carton, pointy end down. This helps the egg settle uh, in the correct position. Your, your egg cell, your air cell is on the top of the egg. So I do this and I generally let them set for 12 to 24 hours. You know, if you're taking them out of your box, your, your nesting boxes, just put them on your counter until you're ready to fill up your incubator and they'll be fine. So with that, I will, here's one of my incubators. It's a Hova Bader model 1602N. It's a standard styrofoam incubator with the wafer which is controlled by this lever here to decrease and increase the temperature. Uh, this did not come standard with a fan. I had to install it myself. I ordered it separately, but it was really easy. You already have the holes. I'm going to move this out of the way, show you the inside. Egg turner, which a lot of people hand turn their eggs, but I, I go with the egg turner. It, it keeps your eggs from getting any bacteria or letting the air out of your incubator, all your humidity. Every time you open it, it's just, you should try to avoid opening it as much as possible. Some people hand turn and they have great success. I personally just enjoy the hands-free, hassle-free option of the egg turner. This is your screen. It goes over your plastic water tray that controls your humidity. The wider the band, the more surface area of humidity you'll have. So I generally like a number four, which is this, one of the smaller ones, or I use the center. Now if, I've, if my humidity is too high, I'll try to cover up some of the surface area to lower that a little bit kind of control it that way. It's I like to tell people though that incubating is a lot like gardening. If some people are good at it, other people are not so good. You can get good at it with knowledge and practice, but it's not something everybody's going to start off excelling at. It's It does take practice. Throughout your subsequent hatches, you'll start to see, you know, things that, oh, I could have done this differently or, you know, gain more knowledge on the process. I use a hydrometer <clears throat> with a thermometer. This one's not on because I don't have the batteries in, but you just lay this on top of your eggs like that and it'll feed through and I let it rest on the top so that I can see what it's, what's going on, what I need to calibrate. Calibration is pretty simple. Some can take up to two days. Once you have it calibrated, it might only take a day, you know, for your next hatch. You just get it warmed up and get your water right in there, uh, which also I forgot to mention. Some people put dyes in their trays so they can see if the water is evaporated out and you can uh, fill it back up. So that's that. Now this Incubator might look old, but I have hatched scores of chicks from this. So it's, I, I highly recommend it for beginners, intermediate, people who've been hatching for years. It's a great incubator. Easy to find. You just Google it. But hopefully this video helps you out with <clears throat> some of the questions you may have had about incubation. And if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. You can contact us on Facebook, Hiberna Hens, and follow us on YouTube. These eggs have been going for about a week now, and hopefully we can set up a live cam so you can see them hatching uh, in a couple weeks. But we'll stay tuned on that. So thanks for watching. Some people like to keep their humidity, some people say humidity is great at 60, which it's okay. Somewhere between 40 and 60. I like to keep my middle of the road 54. 
Temperature being, this is in Celsius, it's 37.5, which is 99 degrees. Uh, with a still air incubator, some people go to 102. 